I got a big goddamn problem with the news. You ready for this? The news is completely manipulated. Everything you hear every single day is designed by corporate media to do one thing and one thing only. To keep you living in fear. Total fear. Fear so you go out and spend money on things. Things you probably don't even need. Things you probably already have six of. So that their advertisers keep buying ads on their stations. I'll tell you one more thing. Ready for this? I'll do this all day, man. The man of God, he's just going to talk stress. And if his voice is roaring, like the honorable minister Louis Farfar, when he's ready to roar, see, take it or leave it. But anyone who acts a so-called holy person, what we've come to believe is how a holy person sounds. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. See, that's an act. That's an actor. But a man of God, he's just going to talk straight. He's going to look a certain way and have a certain kind of hair. And his colouring is going to be a certain kind of kind of Live your life free. You were born for free. This boogeyman, this demon that wants to control you, it doesn't even exist. It's only in the media and the people are waking up to the media and the media is looking more and more stupid every day as people pull their panties down and expose them. They are exposing themselves now. We don't even have to do anything. They are they destroying, are destroying themselves. themselves. We live in a world that's just based on tricks and lies. It's very unfortunate that so many of us today, we can't separate the tricks and lies. We can't separate truth from falsehood. Islam is the truth. The one religion that came with Nabi Ibrahim Islam. It did not come for the first time with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And it does not exist exclusively and only in the Ummah of Muhammad In fact, there's very little of Islam now left in the world in this Ummah. And so, no, no, Islam came into the world before Muhammad And Islam exists in the world outside of the Ummah of Muhammad That, of course, will be a surprise for school boys. You may have kind of like shamanic intuition. You may be a bit of a shaman. You may have an ability to journey into worlds that other people don't. You are naturally able to take in altered states of consciousness. You will find that there will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.1% flat earthers. And you will find that it will be 99.9999999999, what I call upside down spinners, the death to be. Nothing is hidden in the universe. All these criminals that think they're getting away with stuff, all of their evil deeds are just openly revealed. People have become sheep and cattle and goats and camels. How can you want to go to perform Hajj in Makkah at this time when traitors are controlled? The controllers established the major religions and now govern and influence our world. It does not mean that people did not worship God before or that the scriptures are entirely illegitimate. It means they have thwarted our historical ancestors' understanding of our world and God. It means they have redacted huge portions of text, hidden entire books, and used religious organizations to manipulate and yoke together practices that did not exist before. An example of which is Sunday worship. The Roman Empire fused Christianity with the pagan worship of the sun, which resulted in the Sabbath changing from Saturday to Sunday. We live in a world that's just based on tricks and lies. It's very unfortunate that so many of us today, we can't separate the tricks and lies. We can't separate truth from falsehood. Terrorism, terrorism, terrorism. And they're, they're terrified of terrorism. And everywhere you look, there's a terrorist coming out of the... But that's because you're the terrorist. You know all about terrorism. That's why you can define it in such a way that you can identify it in so many different places. Why is it that you're able to accuse this one of intolerance and accuse this one of tyranny and accuse this one of being a dictatorship? Because you know all about tyranny. You know all about intolerance. You know all about dictatorship. That's who you are. 
Jesus in the scriptures is a beautiful human being, a holy and righteous man of God who says, I of myself can do nothing. Only what he bids me to do, that I do. Jesus in the scriptures is a beautiful human being, a holy and righteous man of God who says, I of myself can do nothing, only what he bids me to do, that I do, he being the creator of the heavens and the earth. But what do they call Jesus? They call Jesus a devil. Whatever they're guilty of, they will actually put it on you. When you hear this talk, this filthy name calling, you got to look at the one who's pointing the finger, because you remember when you're pointing that finger, there's three fingers pointing back. But this virus has not come from nature. This virus has not come from nature. Since it has not come from nature, it constitutes biological warfare. Since I recognize it to be biological warfare, the vaccine has to be suspected. And so I will not take the vaccine, and I don't recommend others to take the vaccine. We live in a world that's just based on tricks and lies. It's very unfortunate that so many of us today, we can't separate the tricks and lies. We can't separate truth from falsehood. And everywhere you look, there's a terrorist coming out of the... But that's because you're the terrorist. You know all about terrorists. That's why you can define it in such a way that you can identify it in so many different places. Why is it that you're able to accuse this one of intolerance and accuse this one of tyranny and accuse this one of being a dictatorship? Because you know all about tyranny. You know all about intolerance. You know all about dictatorship. That's the you are. But this virus has not come from nature. This virus has not come from nature. Since it has not come from nature, it constitutes biological warfare. Since I recognize it to be biological warfare, the vaccine has to be suspected. And so I will not take the vaccine, and I don't recommend others to take the vaccine. At first, okay, maybe the first couple months, two, three months, you believed it, you paid attention, but then you started reading, and you started researching, and you started comparing notes and seeing what you see around you. I have not, I yet to see a dead body on the street. Oh, but a lot of people died. Did they die or were they murdered? Why did they tell people not to go to the hospital until they were barely able to breathe? Early treatment, fortify ourselves, you know, our immune system, instead of staying home and eating pizza and, and watching Netflix, you know, being, being propaganda. You may have kind of like shamanic intuition. You may be a bit of a shaman. You may have an ability to journey into worlds that other people don't. You're naturally able to take in altered states of consciousness. You will find that there will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1% flat earthers, and you will find that it will be 99.9999999999, what I call upside down spinners that get to be. Nothing is hidden in the universe. All these criminals that think they're getting away with stuff, all of the evil deeds, they will just be openly revealed. I see a lot of love in here, I see passion and I see true interest for the unknown. So definitely I see a healer in here. This is something extremely interesting about you, like that wildness that you have inside, it's tame, but it's tamed by you, by your own psychic power. Very highly intuitive and that intuition brings you the power into you of decision making, of life changing, transformation power, not only for you but for others as well. So whatever thing you do, you, you can keep doing because you are protected. Having fair light chakra open definitely is sexy, it's something that many people are looking for, but it also could be a little bit um, complicated if you are not aware fully of what you are doing. That's a extremely powerful chakra to have open. Be very accountable of what you are doing, what you are attracting and what you are spreading out in your energy. We live in a world that's just based on tricks and lies. It's very unfortunate that so many of us today, we can't separate the tricks and lies. We can't separate the truth from falsehood. Islam is the truth. The one religion that came with Nabi Ibrahim, it did not come 
for the first time with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa and it does not exist exclusively and only in the ummah of Muhammad alaihi In fact, there's very little of Islam now left in the world in this ummah. And so, no, no, Islam came into the world before Muhammad alaihi and Islam exists in the world outside of the ummah of Muhammad alaihi That, of course, will be a surprise. For school boys. You may have kind of like shaman, like inspiration. You may be a bit of a shaman. You may have an ability to journey into the world that other people don't. You're naturally able to take in altered states of consciousness. You will find that there will be 0000000.1% 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, flat earthers, and you will find that it will be 99.999999. Nothing is hidden in the universe. All these criminals are things that are getting away with stuff. All of the evil deeds are just openly revealed. You have kind of like shamanic intuition. You may be a bit of a shaman. You may have an ability to journey into the world that other people don't. You're naturally able to take in altered states of Altered states of consciousness.